Hi, Holly. Were you the one that wanted to come over? Mr. Vegas, I'm so glad you're back. Please take off my clothes and bore me out. I've needed a good drill. Steve replied with, my drill bit's been serviced too for maximum capacity. <laughs> wow. You do have a way with words, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> work it, girl, work it. Hi, Holly. <laughs> First Bruce Willis, and now you? This is just a treat. Steve felt a little intimidated that she was with Bruce Willis before him. Come on, baby, I used a condom with him. I won't use one with you. No kidding. Boy, he didn't have a problem with that arrangement. Hi. Mr. Vegas, Vegas, he's a man. If he can't do it, no one can. <laughs> Boy, I'm aroused already. Mr. Vegas! Sabrina! How are ya? It's Vixie. I can't believe you didn't remember my name. And then Steve apologizes for having so many women the last few hours, he's lost track of who's coming and going. <laughs> Aww. Well, will you make it up to me by sticking it in my... Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Can we do this quick? I got a Lions Club assembly I gotta hit, and, and then I gotta meet Bruce Willis in an hour. Steve mentioned how Bruce Willis took my suite. Fucking prick, bastard, motherfucker, douchebag. Who's Mahoney? And then he indulged about having a threesome in which I didn't come out looking too good. No, I don't do guys named Mahoney. Tell me you're in town, Steve. Steve corrected Laverne on the Mr. Vegas name because that's who he is when he's in the state of Nevada. Oops, sorry, Mr. Vegas. After some flirting, he asked her if she had been doing her kegels. Are you kidding? I'm so tight, you're gonna need the jaws of life to pry me open. Wow. Hi, you just can't get enough of me, can ya? Steve complimented her on being his favorite. Oh, your favorite whore. That is so sweet. Hey, is that Mahoney guy gonna watch us again? That was a little creepy last time. Well, it all depends. What's the problem? Can we get this over with? I just pulled a 12 hour shift of the Boy Scout Troop Leaders Convention. Will I get a guaranteed hour? Who are you again? Listen, it's 250, and I'm on my period. You're gonna do this, and you're gonna like it. I have an asterisk waiting for you. I almost fell down when she said that. Steve said he was starving. <laughs> Steve had complaints as well. It wasn't your service, no. It was another service, and a young lady came over and, uh, you know, she stayed for maybe 20 minutes, wasn't overly friendly, very demanding about the money. Yeah, the tip, you know, the tip thing was, she was like, you, you know, you're not going to tip, and I'm just going to leave. And I thought that the $200 covered a full hour. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. See, I'm not interested in that then. Thank you. 